the rate of a reaction quadruples consider the initial rate of reaction is k and when it quadruples it becomes 4 times 4k when the temperature changes from 293k to 313k the initial temperature is 293k we label it t1 and the final temperature is uh, 313k we label it t2 similarly we label the initial rate of reaction as k1 and the final rate of reaction is k2 the question says calculate the energy of activation of the reaction means ea is unknown assuming that it does not change with temperature when the temperature of the reaction changes the energy of activation of the reaction does not get affected the rate of reaction is given and you have to calculate energy of activation of the reaction let's apply our heinous equation which relates uh, k and ea the equation is log k2 upon k1 equal to ea divided by 2.303 r r is a gas constant bracket 1 upon t1 minus 1 upon t2 k1 k2 values are given here t1 t2 values are given r is a gas constant it is equal to 8.314 we can plug in all these known variables and find out ea log k2 is 4k k1 is k ea divided by 2.303 and r is equal to 8.314 and its unit is joules per mole k break it 1 upon t1 t1 is 293 minus 1 upon t2 t2 is 313 we mention its unit is kelvin 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 will cancel out same here the same units will cancel out log of 4 is equal to 0 0.6021 equal to ea divided by you can multiply these numbers we get 19.147 i get this numbers after rounding of the figures and the unit left is joules per mole break it you can take lcm up for uh, these denominators we get 293 multiplied by 313 you can do the cross multiplication the numbers we have 313 minus 293 you can subtract these values we get 20 we can do the cross multiplication again here in the numerator we have e 20 number we get 20 ea you can multiply in these numbers we get 0 0.6021 these numbers multiplied by 19.147 multiplied by these numbers 293 multiplied by 313 and the unit is joules per mole you can multiply all these numbers you will get 1057267 joules per mole and here we have 20 a you can transfer a 20 on right side then you will get it as denominator we divide this number by 20 the number we have 52 uh, 863 863 joules per mole and here it is ea we know that the unit of energy of activation is kilojoules per, per mole that's why we convert the joules per mole into kilojoules good uh, kilojoules per mole 1 kg is equal to 1000 joules we multiply here 1 kg divided by 1000 joules 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 will cancel out you can divide this number by 1000 we get uh, 52.863 kilo joules per 
small. You can round out these figures. Uh, 3 over 6 is given here and 3 is smaller than uh, 5. That is why this number, uh, this number remains same. The numbers we have 52.86. It is kj per mole. This is the energy of fluctuation of the 